Welcome to Class 22, Old Testament, taken from the Book of Numbers, In the Desert, The Murmur, The Appointment of Elders, The Miracle with the Quails, Numbers, Chapters 10 to 12. For one year the Israelites lived near Mount Sinai. After the census, a cloud rose over the tabernacle. This meant that it was time to go. The Jews moved to the promised land, and the cloud of the Lord hid them from the sun. The Levites led the way with the Ark of the Covenant and dismantled the tabernacle. But soon people protested that there was no meat. They ate only manna, which had the taste of wafers with oil. They again remembered Egypt, Egyptian vegetables and fish and regretted that they had left Egypt. Moses asked the Lord to deliver him from the leadership of such a faint-hearted people. The Lord ordered him to appoint 70 elders, the future Sanhedrin, as assistants, to whom he gave the spirit that was on Moses. The Lord promised people meat for a whole month, and Moses wondered where it was possible to get meat for so many people, prefiguring the surprise of the apostles when 5,000 people were saturated with food and bread by Christ. The Lord replied, Is the hand of the Lord short? <laughs> the wind caught up with many exhausted quails, and people greedily attacked the meat, but many fell ill, and the most lustful even died. The Jews called that place the coffins of lust. At the next camp, surrounded by the tabernacle, his brother and sister protested against Moses because he married a foreigner. Moses married a Midianite, Zipporah, when he fled Egypt at the age of 40. Aaron and Miriam tried to challenge his authority and said, Did God speak to Moses alone? Didn't he tell us to? But Moses was the meekest of men, so the Lord himself interceded for him. The Lord told them that he spoke to prophets in a dream, but he spoke to Moses mouth to mouth. So Moses is above all the prophets, and the Lord sent leprosy to Mariam, and only through the prayer of Moses was she healed. Later, the Jews tested God more. Already at the entrance to the Promised Land, they refused to go in to it, not believing in his help. And this was the last straw. The Lord said that none of the adults would enter this land except for Joshua and Caleb. The Jews ended up living in the desert for 40 years. Thank you for joining us for Class 22 Old Testament.